Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'd like to share with you how I made these really pretty mirror mosaic chargers using items that I purchased from Dollar Tree. So if you're interested in seeing how I made these beautiful charger plates, then just keep watching. For this project, I used four Dollar Tree charger plates, four of their seven and a half inch round frame mirrors, some broken mirror that I already had, some E6000, and some grout that I picked up from Joanne's Fabric. I'll leave a complete list of everything that I used for this project down in the description box. So the first thing I did was remove the seven and a half inch mirror from its frame. Next, I used my E6000 to attach my round mirror to the center of my charger. While that dried, I placed broken mirror that I already had into several plastic bags. I then used a hammer to break that mirror into smaller pieces. This is how I made my mosaic pieces for this project. I then used my E6000 to cover my charger plate with the broken mirror pieces. I made sure to glue the mirror pieces flush with the charger plate. Of course, you can use larger pieces to speed up this process, but I decided to take the additional time to use the small and medium pieces. I think that this definitely enhances the overall look of the mosaic charger. I'm working in small sections. I don't want my E6000 to dry out, so I'm starting with the outside of the charger plate and I'm working my way towards the center mirror. I continued adding the E6000 and the broken mirror pieces, and when I was done, I had something that looked like this. I allowed my charger place to dry overnight. The following day, it was time to add my grout. 
I'm using this mosaic grout that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It was $6.99, but I used a 40% off coupon to get it for a little over $4. I followed the directions on the packaging to mix my grout with water and then I began to apply the grout to my charger plate. Here, I'm using a plastic spoon to apply my grout. I let that sit for about five minutes and then I use my hands to remove the excess. Five additional minutes later, I used a damp sponge to remove the remaining excess. I continued the cleanup process with a dry paper towel. Next, I sprinkled on some silver glitter that I had left over from Christmas. This step is completely optional. Only a small amount of the glitter will adhere to the grout, but I think that the glitter gives the charger and the grout just a bit more sparkle. I gently pressed the glitter into the grout and I allowed my charger plate to dry. To complete the project, I used a dry paper towel to buff away the remaining grout residue and to remove the excess glitter. Here are the gold charger plates that I was using on my kitchen dinette table. I picked these up from Michaels and here are my brand new mirror mosaic charger plates. I think that these charger plates turned out beautiful. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Interested in seeing me pick up some of the supplies used in this project? Then check out my second channel, Dazzling Designs by Denise, up close and personal. I'll leave a link to my second channel below. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, guys, bye.